Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is, man. The doctor's in the house. Hey, so I just got the chance to watch that, uh, that Queensberry matchroom team, man. <laughs> the 5v5 joint, man. I'm not going to lie. Initially, when I first heard about it, I, was, I wasn't too excited, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Queensberry headed by Frank Warren and, uh, and Matchroom headed by uh, uh, Eddie Hearn, you know? I was like, man, they're going to put on five mediocre fights. Know your fucking place, trash. And no one's going to know anybody that's fighting. Oh, wow. Boy, was I wrong, man. And, you know, and of course, you know, being hip to boxing, you know, we are the streets. We'd be hearing these little rumblings. So some of the fights that we already we were already hip to, we already knew. But I didn't know, I would say I wasn't aware of like two of the three. So, um, but every single one of them is fire. You know what I'm saying? So let's go through it with a little quick rundown, man. That commercial, even the commercial. Shake hands, boys. Let's have a fair fight. <laughs> that commercial gave me vibes of the, uh, I don't know if y'all watched the NBA, but the uh, NBA last year uh, playing tournament um, commercial that they did, that was fire, and that's what it reminded me of, you know, they gave each of the each of the fighters roles and little characters to portray. Lovely sawn off shot, you slip the first shot, leave him with a shiner to remember you by. Oh my God! He's never had a CV, so he got a job as a dorm. And like the saying goes, if you can't take the heat. That, 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 that was dope, man. I love the production so far. I'm very excited for it. So in addition to the Arthur Better Be of the Dimitri Bivol fight, and then of course we have the um the um uh, was it Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury? We also have this 5v5 coming up, man. I'm very excited for it. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Super Six tournament. How excited I was for that, featuring uh, Andre Ward and a Arthur Abraham and Jermaine Taylor and Darrell and uh, Andre Darrell and Carl Froch, etc. You know what I'm saying? Mikel Kessler and everybody else. So, uh, um, but yeah, so let's get right to it, man. So the first up, we have uh, Ray Ford representing uh, Matchroom and Nick Ball representing Queensberry. I'm gonna be honest. In this one, I got Ray Ford. I got Ray Ford by uh, by stoppage. I'm gonna say TKO stoppage. I'm not gonna say a pure knockout, but a technical stoppage because last time I saw Nick Ford, um, he was very unimpressed with me. I, I I didn't really like what I saw. You know, he fought Ray Vargas, and um, Ray Vargas being a taller, lankier, longer ranger fighter. And uh, Nick Ball was just going in with haymakers, man. He didn't see, seem to have any type of game plan. And if he did have a game plan, he definitely didn't execute it. You know, it was not implemented by him at all. He didn't throw any body shots. How are you the smaller um, and, and likely stronger fighter, but you don't throw any shots to the body? So to me, that just seems like you were very unprepared. You didn't have a strategy at all. You just thought you were going to overwhelm him. Which, you know, it was a draw. I think a draw was right. But in my opinion, from a skill standpoint, I think Nick Ball should have won. And last time, of course, we saw Ray Ford, who had a... a Fight of the year uh, contender against Janabek. He looked very good with that uh, remarkable stoppage at the end. That was fire. So I think Ray, Ray Ford, from a skill standpoint, is just better. And I think I expect Ray Ford to beat Nick Ball, in my opinion. I, like I said, by, uh, I'll say by uh, late stoppage. Late stoppage. Um, next up, we have uh, Craig Richards versus Willie Hutchinson. Craig Richards representing um, uh, Matchroom and uh, and uh, Willie Hutchinson representing Queensberry. Willie Hutchinson, I don't know anything about. So. Uh, this one I don't really have an opinion because same with Craig Richards. The only fights I've seen with Craig Richards, if I remember, was uh, his his losses against Joshua Boise and um, and Dimitri Bivol. So this is a light heavyweight matchup. I don't want to give an opinion because it'll be an uh, uneducated one. I don't I don't have it. I'm unfamiliar with both fighters, so that one's a question mark for me. <clears throat> and so next up we have uh, oh Austin Ammo Williams representing Matchroom and Hamza Shiraz representing um, he, representing Queensberry. In fact, he is the captain. Frank Warren cho chose him as a captain. Now, this one, I think this is potentially the best fight of the five. I think this could potentially be the best fight of the five. Um, Emma Williams, last time we saw him, he looked very good. Uh, I think he got a stoppage against Mbamba. And then um, Hamza Shiraz, every time I see him, he looks impressive. Now, the only thing is that they both have in common to me is that uh, they don't really have any notable opponents. While they both look impressive, um, it, it's questionable how good their opponents are. So it's hard for me to uh, discern if it's really uh, how good they are discern between how good they are and how uh, mediocre their opponents are so this one I think is, has the potential to be the best but I'll tell you I'll, learn, I'll lean towards Hamza simply because Frank Warren decided to pick him as a captain so he has a lot of confidence in, confidence in him and and the captain whoever you pick for the captain you know you get double the points for their wins and their KOs and stuff like that so I will lean slightly towards Shiraz but once again, this is up in the air for me. You know what I'm saying? Because Emma Williams is nice too. All right, so next up we have, uh, let's see what we have next. Let's see who we have next. I'm trying to remember. 
Um, let, me, let me reference my notes. Oh yeah, of course we have Philip Hergovich representing Matchroom, going against Daniel Dubois uh, representing uh, Queensbury, and um, in this one I have Philip Hergovich. I'm not gonna lie, um, I like Daniel Dubois. He has been stepping up. He's been improving, but you know they have some sparring um, history, and they're very open about it. You know Philip Hergovich did very well against Daniel Dubois, and as and, and Daniel Dubois has improved, and things can change with time. But I don't think I also think Philip Hergovich has has improved. And I know he had a close fight with Zele Zhang, but Zele Zhang's a beast in my opinion, who we'll see, we'll talk about later. So I have Philip Hergovich winning. I think he's a very, I think he's, he's probably one of the most avoided heavyweights out there right now. So I got Philip Hergovich winning this one. And then um, next up we have, the last but not least, we have uh, Zele Zhang versus Deontay Wilder. Uh, Zele Zhang representing Queensbury. Deontay Wilder unexpectedly, right, representing Matchroom with Eddie Hearn. Who the heck thought that that would happen? What? A pairing between Eddie Hurd and Deontay Wilder. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> that is crazy. You know, they have the history with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder all these years and stuff like that. But, um, and Deontay Wilder, uh, Eddie Hearn, surprisingly, I ain't gonna say surprisingly, but kind of surprisingly, you know, considering the history, he selected Deontay Wilder as a captain. Homies over homies. Homies over homies. So we have Deontay Wilder versus Zayle Zayn. Those of you that pay attention to the channel, y'all know I love Deontay Wilder. Um, I think he's I think he's very uh, underappreciated as a heavyweight. You know, people like to say that he's uh, a one-trick pony. Well, he maximized his talents. You know, he uh, won, 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 won and reigned as a champion for a long time based off his athleticism and his uh, equalizer in his right hand. He doesn't have the best boxing acumen. <clears throat> so that's his biggest knock and deservedly so. And, um, you know, he lost to Joseph Parker last time we see him. I will, and those of you that pay attention to my channel, you also know that I don't think that Deontay Wilder should fight anymore. I think he's past his, not only past his prime, I think he's past his, uh, I would say his um, ability to perform at a high level and in a safe manner. So I do think this is uh, his last stand, as, as, he, as he openly admitted. And I'm very fond of, and those of you know, I'm very fond of Zayle, Big Bang Zhang as well. Um, I thought that I had him winning against Joseph Parker slightly, but I don't think it was a robbery. I think he could have went either way because I do think Zayle Zhang ran out of gas against Joseph Parker. And Joseph Parker, you know, he overcame two knockdowns. So shout out to Joseph Parker, big salute. And Joseph Parker, you know, surprisingly, they have this, they have this, they have this opponent in common. And Joseph Parker beat both of them. Um, <clears throat> so in this one, I think I have Zayle Zhang against Deontay Wilder. I think Zhang wins this one for match for uh, Queensberry. But uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. Bullshit! 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 While it lasts. <laughs> I, I expect uh, Zhang to stop Deontay Wilder. I'll say somewhere around the fifth or sixth round. That's just my opinion. So uh, let's count it up, man. Let's see who he has. So so the first one, I'm not, I'm not going by their official points. I'm just going to do like a one through five scoreboard. I'm not going to do their, their, their official points for the tournament. So I'm just going to say who won, who lost. So right now I had Ray Ford winning. So that's one point for Matchroom. I had Craig Richards and Willie Hutchinson. I'm not going to count that. I must call that even. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with them. Austin Emma Williams for, and Hamza Shiraz. I went with Hamza. So that's 1-1 one, one right now. Philip Hergovich. I went with Philip Hergovich against David Dubois. So I got a 2-1 for Matchroom. And then Deontay Wilder and Zhang. I got it. I going with Zhang. So I got it 2-2, two, two, you know, out of the five. So, you know. The the, 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 the 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 x factor is the fight that i'm unfamiliar with so let's see how it goes man y'all let me know what, what y'all think about it in the comments and uh yeah if y'all excited man that commercial was fire man i appreciate y'all working with me as always god bless remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing peace the doctor's out from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets